What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today is a very interesting day. It is currently day two of my seven day required time off. We are now switching to a half staff kind of deal in interventional radiology in my department, whereas half of the fellows and half of the attendings are on for seven days and the other half are off. And then we switch over after those seven days are up. So I just finished working seven days straight. Now I am on my seven days off. So this was a decision made by my department in case one physician or one attending or group of fellows and attendings get sick. At least we have another group that's staying home and safe to kind of cover for them if, you know, worst case scenario. So now here I am, day two of my seven days off. I'm already pretty bored, I can't go anywhere. So I'm just kind of making videos. So that's what today is for. We are going to do a Q&A type video. I told you guys to submit all of your questions to my Instagram page, which is linked up here or here. So let's go ahead and answer some questions. Let's go. All right, so first and foremost, let me take my multivitamin. This is like a vitamin C thing that I got when I was in Croatia, and I still have like two of them left. I think it's just like a thousand milligrams of vitamin C. Doesn't do anything, but it adds a nice orange flavor to my water. So we'll let that sit in and get to the video. All right, so before I get into these questions, I did get a little something in the mail today. And since I have nothing else to do, we'll go ahead and open this on camera because why not? All right, you guys probably know what it is. <laughs> looks very similar. Looks very similar to one of my last unboxing videos. So this I told myself I wasn't going to get any more Yeezys because they're kind of a bit overplayed. I mean, they're, they have like a new color for everything now. But this was kind of like a last second decision. It's a good like springtime color. So I thought I'd try it out. It actually looks pretty fire. Look at that color. It's got a nice orange accent. Pretty dope shoe. Let me go ahead and exchange out this box for a little Yeezy action. All right, let's get into the questions. So I'm just going to do like a rapid fire question and answer session. I'm not gonna spend too much time on each question. I'm just gonna go through it. Question number one, how do you decide between DR versus DR and IR residency? Kind of depends on what you want to do. Do you wanna do diagnostics? Do you wanna do interventional radiology? Or do you want to do diagnostics and maybe switch into interventional radiology later? I personally like the, what I chose is where I did diagnostic radiology and then switched over to interventional radiology once I knew that it was a right fit for me. With the new interventional radiology residency, it kind of scares me that you're putting all of your eggs into one basket and you may not even like interventional radiology once you get into it. So I would do DR, IR, but that's just me. What other specialties did you consider prior to IR? I've answered this question before, and urology was one of my top choices, but then I switched into IR and DR last minute. What are your thoughts on radiologist assistants? I think good things about them. We have one that works for us currently, has been working in our floral department for, I think about a year or so now. He's awesome, everybody loves him in my residency. I didn't get a chance to work with him that much because he kind of came on after I was done with the floral rotation. You kind of do that your first two years, but everybody loves him like a lot. And everybody says he's the best teacher, best floral teacher there is. So, hey, I'm all for it. Favorite show to binge watch during quarantine. Uh, I'm about to binge watch the Ozark season as soon as it comes out. I think it releases Friday the 27th. If I'm not mistaken, I'll have to double check, but I'm super pumped for that. When working in interventional, how often are IR techs utilized? Are they helpful to you? The short answer is 
one bajillion percent. Um, a, I love having IR tech scrub in with me if I need an extra set of hands, especially on certain cumbersome procedures like a transjugular liver biopsy, which is very cumbersome for just one person or one operator. Also, I don't think I would be able to operate the fluoro tables without them because every room is different and has a unique set of quirks and they know all of those little quirks and make sure our procedures go efficiently. I mean, we literally just can't do any of our procedures without them, so of course they're useful. I get this question so often. Can a radiographer become a radiologist? Yes, but it's not a direct pathway. So a radiographer or a radiology technologist goes to school to become a radiology technologist. A radiologist goes to med school for four years, then does a at least five year residency and sometimes a one year fellowship, so six years, and then can become a radiologist. A radiographer would have to go back to school, undergrad, complete pre-med courses, then apply to med school, then apply to residency, and then they could be a radiologist. So that's the difference. There is no direct pathway from being a radiographer or a radiology technologist to radiologist. Is the demand of your job more physical or mental? The diagnostic side is extremely mental. Um, it's kind of like you're taking a test for eight hours at a time, and that can be really taxing on your brain and give you a nice headache at the end of the day. Um, but also in IR, it's kind of a combination of both because you're standing all day with heavy lead on and sweating in that lead, but you're also thinking through the whole procedure because you know any small maneuver can be pretty dangerous uh, if you're not paying attention. So IR is mentally and physically exhausting. Would like to know your day-to-day -day and weekly schedule is like as an IR. You demand, stay safe. Uh, weekly schedule, wake up at seven. If I'm on procedures, I will leave about you know six o'clock. If I'm on call, I'll stay for the late procedures. Sometimes leave 6.37 and hopefully not get called in overnight. Um, on the weekends, usually about the same. Saturdays will be a full working day, catching up on all the cases from the week. And then Sunday, we kind of reserve for emergencies or if we're super backed up, we'll do other cases. What kind of sports and workouts do you do within a week? Any routines? This has been super hard for me lately. I usually try to stay pretty active and work out at least three or four times a week but I was on call for a month and the overnights, you know, seven, 12 hour shifts in a row kind of puts a damper on your ability to work out because you're just tired all the time. So I kind of was absent in the workout department for a better part of a month. Now that I'm on IR, it's also tough, but still trying to work out. I usually love to work out in the morning, but when I'm on IR, I wake up at 5.30 and I'm not gonna wake up at like three o'clock to work out every day, that's just crazy. So I have to just kind of fit it in when I come home. I am an IR tech looking at going back to pre-med school, but petrified of the loans. Advice, you should be petrified of the loans because they are no joke. Uh, what I always say is go to the cheapest school you can find and try to limit your student loan debt. Just stay well, thank you very much. Why did you choose to be an interventional radiologist? Um, because it's the coolest field in medicine and I wanted to be a part of the coolest and most technologically advanced field in medicine. Do you play video games? I don't play video games because I think Andrana would kill me. I already have enough things going on and to, to sit down and play video games. I don't think I would ever spend time with her and I really just don't have time. But I did, I had a three month gap between when I got a job after um, undergrad and when I started my real first time job after school I had like a three month gap where I basically played Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2, like 10 hours plus a day, every day for three months, and I was obsessed with it. And I was also super good. I do wanna play that new Call of Duty game that's out now though, but I feel like I would be addicted. How did you know that being a doctor was right for you? Many, many, many hours of research and shadowing other physicians. Um, I spent a lot of time trying to figure out if it was right for me, and ultimately it was. How are you staying active while stuck at home? This is a good question too, it's kind of hard. I live in a you know kind of small apartment. We don't have too much extra space. Um, this morning I did wake up, have coffee, and I went and ran around the block by myself a couple times just to kind of get my heart rate up. Came back in, did some like push-ups, you know, squats, lunges, abs, 
etc. But it's definitely not the same workout routine that I want to do. How does it feel to work at a Northwell hospital? I volunteer at one in Long Island. Um, I used to work at Lenox Hill Hospital. That's where I did my surgery internship. Absolutely love it there. It's kind of a smaller hospital, like community oriented hospital, but everybody's super nice and you kind of get to know everybody, which is what I really like. I loved it there. I would not mind going back there to work as an attending. Favorite procedure? Man, that's tough. Probably a TACE, transarterial chemoembolization. Yeah, that's probably my favorite. How much variety is there in interventional radiology? I mean, <laughs> so much variety. I mean, we bounce around from one room to one room for procedure after procedure, and every single one of them are different. So you can go from a tunnel central line to a biliary drain, to an abscess drain, to a uh, dialysis graft deep clot, to a transarterial chemoembolization, and into a kidney biopsy. You, I mean, you have so much to do and the variety is crazy. How often are you reading studies compared to doing procedures? Um, currently when I'm on IR, I don't read any studies. Um, I have another month of IR left and then I do one final month of cardiovascular imaging, which I'll be reading studies then, but most IRs don't read too many studies unless they work at a private practice where they are required to read diagnostic studies, which I'd be okay with doing. Favorite movie, 100% Top Gun. Top Gun is the best movie of all time. I don't care what anybody says. And there's also a remake coming out, which I am super pumped about. What's something you didn't realize about yourself that you learned in quarantine? Well, I'm only on day two of a required quarantine, not really a quarantine. Um, it's kind of like required time off. I haven't learned anything yet other than I get really bored being by myself. Do you have a dream car or a truck? If so, what is it? Um, I've always been a Jeep guy. I've driven Jeeps my whole life. I think I've had like five or six in my time. So that's probably what I'll stick to. If I were to go crazy, if I ever got like, you know, super baller rich, I'd probably get the uh, Ferrari Pista. I love those cars. When you aren't wearing scrubs, what is your go-to type of style or brand of clothing? I kind of switch it up. Um, lately I've been kind of into more street style, but I also like more I guess you'd say fashion for it. I don't really know. I like to I like to dress well, especially when I'm going out. Um, but I really, as you can tell, gotten into the streetwear game a little bit. But I don't know. I like to switch it up. I like to travel in streetwear. But if I'm going out, I like to wear like you know a nice blazer, button up, fitted jeans, or whatever. I don't know. I really like shoes though. I'm really big into shoes lately. Are both you and Andriana working on the front lines? Can you tell us a little bit about? what it's like in the hospital now. Uh, Andrana is on the front line. She works in urgent care and deals a lot with these patients currently. Um, I kind of get these secondary effects, like if I have to do a procedure on one of these patients. So I'm not exactly like an ER physician on the front lines, but every hospital is different right now. A lot of the hospitals in New York are getting really overrun and really overworked. So it's completely location dependent. Again, I'll do another video on this later. What is your favorite and least favorite IR procedure? So you know my favorite is probably a TACE or transarterial chemoembolization. My least favorite procedure is a gastrojejunostomy tube exchange because they sound so simple, yet sometimes they can be such a pain and take like two hours to do. They're so annoying sometimes. But a good gastrojejunostomy tube exchange is like, like butter, super quick. Please talk about radiation oncology. I would, but I don't know much about radiation oncology. Are you familiar with HHT, also known as uh, hereditary hemorrhagic telangiectasias? Um, yes, very familiar with this. We actually have an HHT center where I work, and one of the IR attendings I work with actually embolizes a lot of pulmonary AVMs for these patients. So we are very familiar with them. We, we, we read a lot of images on HHT patients and do procedures on them as well. What video editing software do you use? I currently still use iMovie, so basic, I know. Um, I'm getting a new MacBook and getting the uh, Final Cut Pro. That's what I'm going to be messing with soon. I just haven't had time to, to do it. Advice for when placing a central venous catheter and having difficulty while feeding the wire after needle repositioning. So this took me probably three years to learn. So venous access and arterial access are the fundamentals of interventional radiology. So a lot of times, you know, it's 
you kind of learn as a tactile sensation, honestly. Once you put the, the needle in and you see it in the jugular vein or whatever vessel you're trying to go in, um, especially in the IJ, what I usually do is once I'm in, kind of perpendicular-ish, I will flatten and kind of parallel the needle almost like it's shooting down the IJ. Um, and then once the, the wire is in, you can kind of adjust the needle and kind of guide it as you as you kind of feel the wire going through. It's really hard to explain. It's one of those things you just have to do over and over and over and over and over again. And eventually you'll just kind of get the feel down. But my first and second year, I mean, I can't tell you how many times I would put the needle in. I see it's the perfect position on ultrasound, but then when I was trying to put the wire in, it just would not go. And eventually I kind of just figured it out. It's kind of a feel thing. You'll get used to it. Just do more. It's all about the reps. Go to ice cream flavor. You know, I used to like mint chocolate chip, but I'm a huge cookie dough fan lately. Last but not least, when are you moving to New York City? I am officially moving at the end of June. And I can tell you, I really hope that all this stuff is gone by then because it's going to be a very interesting time when you have this situation currently and you have all the residents who are supposed to end in New York City, they end the end of June and the whole hospital in every single hospital in New York City is going to switch over staff July 1st, which is going to be crazy. So I really hope all this stuff is taken care of before that time period for more reasons than that, but that's just one of the million reasons why I want this to end soon. All right, that's enough questions. I don't even know how many questions that was. Um, I didn't get to every single one, but I appreciate everybody who sent in questions. I'll probably do another one of these at some point. So if you have another question, hold on to it for now. As always, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button and follow me on Instagram if you don't already. Turn on post notifications so you are notified when I post a new video, which is usually about once or twice every week. If you want me to do a video on a certain topic, let me know in the comments below because, you know, I have like five more days off so I could do it during this week. Otherwise, I'll see you all on the next video.